Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gör Gött. Today, we're making something that my daughter has been begging me for for ages. We're making mac and cheese. Now, I normally tell her, no, I don't like mac and cheese. This uh, pre-made, I think it's uh, one of the brands, starts with a K. Hate it. So we're making our own mac and cheese. And I know she will love it because she's had it before. She just doesn't remember because it's been a couple of years. But before we have a look at the board, as always, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, please support me by hitting the subscribe button and checking the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode is online. And you might have noticed something different. I have no glasses on today. I forgot them at work. So if I do cut myself today, you know why. But there's not that much cutting to do, so I'm, I'm, I might get lucky. But now let's have a look at the board. We have our mac, our macaroni. These are not proper macaroni, but I really enjoy them. I hope you can see them, small round ones. Tubetti regati. And we have our cheese. A yellow cheddar. It has quite a lot of taste, which I prefer, which I like. Um, obviously, we're making our mac and cheese based on a sauce mornay, so kind of a bechamel with cheese in it. So for the bechamel, we need equal quantities per weight of butter and flour. So I have 50 grams of butter and 50 grams of flour. And add a zero to that, and you have the milliliters you need of milk. So 500 milliliters of milk. And then we have some chives and some panko breadcrumbs just to decorate the dish afterwards. So we're gonna deep fat fry the panko breadcrumbs and we're just gonna chop up the chives. So we'll start with the chives and the breadcrumbs. And once we've done that, we'll move over to the stove. Chives, breadcrumbs. For the breadcrumbs, I have a pot of oil, one third up the weight to stay on the safe side. And that's heating up here. Now, I'm not going to move it to film how we deep fat fry the breadcrumbs. I'll just show you the end result. The chives, we're just going to chop up. I'm not going to film that a lot either, so I'll see you once they're done. So the chives are done. Clean the board. And one thing we can do while we also wait is grate the cheese. Now, this is just so that it melts quicker, right? You can also cut it into smaller pieces, but like this, it will melt the fastest. Now we have um, so 500 milliliters of milk, right? And it should be, be enough with 150 grams of cheese. But we'll save this to see if we need to add some more later on. Our oil is hot. Put it back on the stove. Golden brown and out on a paper towel to drain them off. And that's it for our crispy panko flour. Now, let's take our panko. And all we do is to add a good pinch of salt to that. Toss it quickly. Give it a taste. Mm, nice and crunchy. That's what we're after. We're basically after the crunch to give it some texture, the mac and cheese, because otherwise mac and cheese is just So we have our chives. We have our deep fat fried panko flour. We've grated our cheese. We're ready to move over there to make the morning. But I'll tell you something to do before. And I'm using the same pot that we deep fat fried in. I have cleaned it. We're just going to warm up our milk so that it's not cold. Our milk is on. Let's move over there and make the bechamel. I'll just show you quickly. Up here, we have the pasta water with salt in it. And just cook your pasta according to what it says on the package. Try to leave it just a little bit undercooked. First thing that goes in is our butter. Our butter is melted. Time to mix in the flour. Now 
Now you want to cook this for a bit. You don't want to color it, but just cook it for a bit. And that's supposed to get rid of the floury consistency. So a good tip is to not have it on the highest heat and to be ready with your milk. But the milk is ready next to us here. And a classical bechamel, you would normally have nutmeg, salt and pepper in. But I'm just adding salt to this one because we want a really cheesy taste. Now we're ready with our milk. Spilling a bit. And now you need to make sure that you whisk in all of the flour and butter. Make sure that you get everything around the edges. And you can see it's already starting to thicken up. Now we go in with our cheese. And stir that in as well. And we want to try to get it as yellow as we can, we can without adding any kind of coloring to it. Let's give this a quick taste. Mm. Good, cheesy. But let's add some more cheese. I grated up about another 100 grams, I would say. So we're at 250 now. We really want this to taste like cheese. And at the same time now, we add a good two pinches of salt to start with. So let's see where we stand now. Mm. This is excellent. Now we just need to wait until the pasta is done so we can add our pasta. So pasta is al dente. Mix it all in. Just kind of fold it all in. I promise you, this will be the best mac and cheese you've ever had. Now we're ready to serve it up. Oh, look at this beauty. So, but before we serve this up, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, takes you a second, but it's so worthwhile or so valuable to me so that I can get my content further out in the YouTube universe. Let's plate this up. breadcrumbs and our chives ready to dig in mm. get in there mm. Mm. I hate mac and cheese out of the bag but this is perfect Salty, creamy, bit of crunch from the panko. Mm. And that hint of kind of oniony chive flavor from the chives. Perfect. Now, at least I know one young lady who's going to be extremely happy with me tonight when she gets this for dinner. And that's enough for me. That's all I want with my cooking, right? You want to make other people happy. And as you can see, I didn't cut myself, even though I didn't wear the glasses today. But they will be back next time. But that's it for this time. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment. And if you're not supporting the channel yet, please do so. Hit the subscribe and check the bell icon. Take care. Bye-bye.